was uh, the intake opening across the both sides of the truck. And then also there's going to be hoses that stack below and above the intake. You can see the fan to your right and clean up box at the top. And I'm going to the next door. So here we have the compressor head and the cat diesel engine. by a couple of pulleys. This is the uh, key switch to turn it on. We got the fan. Okay, let's open up this back door. There's going to be another wall that goes here and here. And then the actual fuel tanks down underneath at the front. That's just a temporary. And here we have the clean out box that comes off the fan. And then everything blows into a nice little tight drum. Keeps everything sealed, clean, and easy to, to dispose of the debris. And also a, a copious amount of storage space. This whole back three and a half, four feet back of the truck is for storage. We've got the ladder at the back that goes up so you can access your bag doors and your bags. And then this is the other side of the truck with a fair amount of storage and you can put in things like shelves and all sorts of stuff. You could probably even fit a furnace back here if you needed to. Then here we have a 30 gallon. Um, it's a high pressure tank. It's rated for 300 psi. Uh, we have it set up to run around 225 psi. And uh, then there's also room for more storage above the tank with more shelves along here if you needed to. And then this, this compartment is can be used for more storage or you can also fit a hybrid vacuum in here, a duct cleaning vacuum. And we also have mounts at the top where you can put a winch to actually just lift the hybrid duct vacuum right into the truck. Okay, go ahead. And then this is the other side of the truck right here. That's the other clean outside, so you can hook your vacuum hoses up to either side of the box. So now we'll go around and start the truck up. <laughs> 